What's up everybody, this is Eric Creed Harry and today's the final test for the push test. It's been four weeks since I poured these samples, exactly four weeks today. And um, I'm going to remeasure. Uh, this is actually my third time. I did another time off camera and wrote the uh, results down. Only thing today is the uh, 50 gallon sample I gave away and don't have anymore. But other than that, all the other samples are here. I just finished reviewing the video to make sure I had everything in the correct spots. So we're going to start off with um, 200 gallon here. So this sample was made as if we were mixing cement in a 200 gallon container so the purpose of this one was really just for insulation but since we have it here we're going to test it so goes right in at 40 uh, what is that like 42 pounds of force okay so our next sample is the 100 gallon Our 50 is missing. We'll go right to our 32 gallon. Okay, so this is the 32 gallon mix. <laughs> Barely puts a dent. That's the dent. And I went over a hundred. So I mean this meter is a hundred pound. It's rated for a hundred pounds. So I can't really say that this is a hundred and sixteen pounds here, but we will for argument's sake. Next we have our um, uh, 20 gallon mix and 10 gallon mix. This here is as if you added two pounds of foam to a 94 pound bag of cement. Uh, not two pounds, two gallons of foam. I'm not gonna test these. These were already solid. I had readings like 130 on the machine. So I, I can't go any further with this device, I'm testing, the, I guess, PSI on here. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna move over to our uh, 100 gallon sample uh, whose foam I added cement accelerator to. So these two samples here have cement accelerator. This is a 100 gallon mix and this is a 50 gallon mix. That's uh, about 196. Well, I mean, um, 96. Okay, this is our 100, I mean, our 50 gallon mix with, with cement accelerator in the foaming solution. This actually had four ounces of cement accelerator in a five gallon bucket with foaming solution. I mean, it's pretty much as, as hard as I can push down on it. Uh, all right, let's see if I can go harder. So I'm pretty much maxing out my gauge here. And we'd just say that's 120 pounds of force. So that's very strong, very good mix now. Now 
Next we have our 32 gallon mix uh, with two to one, two bags of sand to one bag of cement. really have to push as hard as I can and you see I'm getting about 124 pounds to put that little dent in here so you see this is the first and it's uh, this is actually the second which I didn't video and this is the third so it's gotten stronger this second was after about uh, two and a half weeks Okay, so next we're going to move up to our 50-gallon um, sample that I added baking soda to. I believe all I added was baking soda to that. Okay, I pushed as hard as I could. Again, this is a 100 pound meter. But since it went around, I'm just gonna assume I can call this 128. So 128 pounds to, again, put just a little dent in here. If you compared uh, the strength of it after about four, uh, four or five days. I think this was four days um, <clears throat> when I tested it. I poured it on Sunday, yeah, and I tested it on a Thursday. So that's really good. Okay, next we have um, sand and basalt. I think this was a one-to-one -one ratio, sand, cement, and basalt. Again, I'm, I'm sure I could push harder. I would easily call that another 130, but move it closer to me with the leverage. It's so heavy. So anyway, it's it's strong mix. Um, I'd have to really break this to see if the basalt is holding stronger than another piece. I mean, it's heavy, it's dense. Again, the idea for this one was for foundation, uh, but I really can't say it's much stronger than these other mixes. Even this uh, 32 gallon mix here has no sand in it. Look how super strong it is. So, um, based on this, I would say it's not really necessary to add sand, only really to extend your cement. So, if you have a hundred pounds of cement and you have a hundred pounds of sand, you're going to be extending everything. Plus, you're going to add your foam into it. Doesn't seem to hurt. But uh, it's not necessary because, wow, strength. Okay, so next we're going to move up to our um, J-Lube and baking powder mix. So this one here, I mentioned when I first did the test, I, um, this was the only sample I made the same time all the others were made. Uh, that took longer for this one to cure. The next day, all the samples were pretty much firm, but this one was still super soft, as if I just poured it. Uh, but <clears throat> following days, um, the skin got really hard, and it turned into a really hard sample. So we'll test the strength on this one out. Yeah, 
it's it's strong we're looking at 125 again that just made a little impression on the surface so that's that's really a big increase in strength from uh, the first few days so here we have a blend I did using a polymer crystal that um, thickens the water and I believe I added the crystal into the cement slurry after uh, the cement was mixed with the water in the slurry I added this crystal so let's test this one out okay we're looking at 98 uh, sorry, about 95 pounds of force. Okay, this sample was the same polymer crystal that um, was added into the water first. Before I made the slurry, I added the crystal to the water. Okay, that's 120 pounds of force. And the thing is, it goes in. So these samples don't go in. They have the high strength, but very small dent. The fact that this goes in at that, um, I would say, obviously it's weaker. This last sample was actually from the same batch. Uh, you can see the texture came out different on it. Let's test this one. Okay, caved in at about 75 pounds of force. Still weak. So what um, what I see here, actually what we all see here now, is the aircrete that's made with no additives um, will get stronger over time. The strongest mix though, you know, I don't have the 50 pounder, but I'm gonna go by the other samples you just saw. They will make with the 50 gallon drum is this one here that's not here <clears throat> but 32 gallon mix is solid i mean look at this it barely made a dent this this is a strong and, and this one's still light uh oh well i gotta measure i gotta weigh everything now one second people almost forgot to weigh the samples okay so we're gonna do this quickly first it's uh Okay, this is our 100 gallon mix. 19.36. 50 is missing. 32 gallon. 32.06. This is a uh, 20 gallon. 71 exactly. This is the 10 gallon. 99.8. Okay, this is the 100 gallon with cement accelerator. 26.63. This is a 50 gallon mix with cement accelerator. 28.53. This is a 32 gallon, two parts sand, one part cement, 69.98. This is one to one and basalt fiber chop, 73.5. 
This is a 50 gallon mix uh, with baking soda, 39.6. This is 50 gallon mix J Lube and baking soda, 38.8. This is polymer crystals with 50 gallon drum mixed into slurry. 50 gallon mix polymer crystal again. And lastly, but never least, 26.87. All right, everybody. That's it. It's been um, four weeks since I've poured these samples, and what we've learned is uh, the accelerator, baking soda, and uh, even J Lube really increase the strength, as well as doing adding less foam to your cement. So this here is a very, very strong mix. This is nothing more than foam and cement mixed in a 32 gallon container. So we got a really strong air creek brick here. Again, this hole was made after only four days of curing. And, um, and then I did uh, uh, two weeks and then four weeks later. And it just got harder and harder. So this is really probably one of my favorite mixes because you don't need anything but cement, foam, and water. Um, but besides that, uh, we did get some fast strength using um, the cement accelerator. And uh, they got really hard where you couldn't. Well, actually, did we put a hole in that one? This one we couldn't put a hole in. So anyway, it got much harder. You can see by the results which ones have gotten hard and still don't allow you to push through. Like, like you just saw, these samples, the strength went up, but I was still able to put a hole through them. Whereas this one, strength went up and I couldn't put a hole through it. So that's some good stuff. I'm gonna do some more refining with the mixes. Um, and that's it for now so this is going to be a spreadsheet I'm sure one of you incredible people who have already given me spreadsheets will compile something here and uh, I'll post it for everyone to see in the description so that's it for now peace out, love you all and I'll catch you on the next Aircrete experiment peace